we've been talking quite a bit about raster processes, and I'm sure there are a number of people in the room wondering what, what else, like what else could we possibly be doing? There is actually one more thing that we I'm actually pretty excited to announce. It's the concept of support-free printing that I think everyone has been seeing all over LinkedIn and social media and, and you know on the internet. The idea being that it's all about the tool pads and, and you know what's kind of important here. So I don't need to go through why support-free printing is important in, in a laser powder bed fusion process, but I think I can joke ironically about the key pillars of support-free printing. So the first pillar is a geometric query, right? Dendrite is going to be providing APIs to enable sophisticated geometric queries. A number of folks are already familiar with upskin, downskin, and inskin. Right, and applying specific parameters to those specific areas in a slice. But the idea is we want to offer a much, much broader set of geometric queries to enable something very clever. The clever stuff is more and more advanced tool pads and more and more recipes in IP. The idea here is can we figure out a way to enable every machine vendor on the planet and every single customer and user on the planet to quickly iterate in an automated way to generate new toolpathing strategies, new geometric queries, and then codify that into IP and recipes that they can either sell, keep to themselves, or, 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 or donate to the public, public domain. The idea here is we're developing IPs to enable this IP generation and development, and again, to provide the fastest mathematics engine on the planet. So what does this look like? So we just talked about geometric queries and segmentation, right? And basically the simplest way to show that is um, what, what one of our applications engineers, Dalen, cooked up. You're seeing here essentially a, a sample part. It has a outer ring, which is thick. It has an inner interface, and then it has a number of fins. As you can see, zoomed in, we've applied a number of different hatching and toolpathing parameters to each of these sections, right? And these were all done via a specific type of geometric query. So the idea here is we want to enable people to make lots and lots of recipes and enable faster parts and newer types of parts quickly. The other type of query that we're enabling is a distance-based one. As you can all tell, we have a pretty darn fast voxel system internally. And the idea is that if you wanted to detect fins or near, near surface features, you'd simply use actually our raster processes in our voxel engine to also enable these very fast and very sophisticated queries. 